So we've now investigated and explored the elasticity, how much a material will extend. You can use lots of different equipment to test that out and you've done that using some coins and paper clips really. So we know that elastic bands are quite stretchy. If we pull them, we apply a pulling force, they will extend. And that pulling force could be by adding weights or it could be by pulling it. Now I'll set you a little challenge using that property of an elastic band. So you start and you make a knot using the elastic band, just a little knot there. And then you use the stretchiness of another elastic band and you stretch it round that knot until it's tightly in position. And then another one and another one until it starts to make a ball shape, like a super ball, really bouncy because you've got that elastic property. Very hard to um, direct, but there you go. Keep going, keep going, and again, you've still got the elasticity. This is the basis of an old-fashioned golf ball. This is, this is how they used to make them. That's great when you can play with that outside if you want. You could measure how high you can make it bounce, how far it can bounce off a wall. So if you stand a metre away from a wall and you throw it and duck quickly, how far back will it bounce? Will it, the pushing force away from the wall, will it make it shoot further? You can do lots of things like that. How many elastic bands do you think? How many do you predict went into that ball? Predict how many you think. And if you can get hold of some elastic bands, test your prediction. Did, did your prediction did it make a ball this big? If you think there's a hundred elastic bands in there, how big, how big did you get that ball? And finally, another science skill is research. Find out who made the biggest elastic band ball. You will be amazed. It is quite large. And I don't think you'll be making one that big. Not anytime soon. I think it'd be quite expensive actually, and I'm not quite sure where you'd keep it. But what I'd like you to do is, Draw a diagram of your ball or take a picture and tell us what the properties are that you've used to make that ball and what forces you've used to get there.